All right, one more thing. Some people asked me to do this, and I, I tried it a couple times, but I'm gonna I'm try it again. All right. Does anybody have personal finance questions? It's like interested, like Linnell, how'd you start? Uh, uh, what'd you do to get going? How does it feel to be debt free? Uh, no question is a dumb question because I try to, I try my best to make sure that I don't make people feel dumb about uh, personal finance uh, decisions. So I'm, I'm only on here to, for, I'm gonna I'm try this out again, like five, 10 minutes, to if anybody has questions, you know, about anything, anything to do with personal finance, because I'm telling you, I, I, it's, not, it's not to demean you, it's not to lower your, think you're dumb, uh, uh, you're, like you're dumb for asking that question, how come you don't know, it's nothing to do with that. Just let me know. If you have any questions, how do I, if you want to know how I started, uh, how long it's been, how did I quit my job, how, did I, was I nervous as hell to do it? Yes, I was nervous. I was nervous at all, I, I, a lot. I was nervous, very much so. And people don't really like to talk about it, but you know, there's a few people that like to, that want to know, and people always ask me in the DMs, but if you, I'm, I'm here to answer any questions that you want, so. Before I get off of here, let me see. How do you see the comments? Okay. Yeah. So if you guys have any personal finance questions, let me know. You know, I, you know, like for example, uh, I help people get their, get themselves their own, you know, their own raise by. Lowering your phone bill, cable bill, you know, like for example, my phone bill, my cell phone bill is $26 a month, all right, on Verizon, okay? And it's, it's prepaid, so only, only tax I pay is on the $26. I don't have all those taxes. That's ridiculous, man. If you're paying over $50 a month, you're getting ripped off. I, I want you to understand that. You're getting ripped off on top of financing a cell phone. If you're financing a cell phone, today is the day to stop. Okay, those days are, those days are gone. Those those hundred dollar phone bills, they they've been gone for years. I haven't seen that kind of bill for five years, four or five years. That's those days are gone. Trust me. So if you want to learn how to learn how to do a lot of things, okay, I've learned a lot to become debt free. I've sacrificed a lot, and at the end, by the time I was done, it wasn't. It was every. every Every bit of it was worth it. It was all worth it. And it's such a sensitive subject. People don't like talking about it, boy. If I come up and do a controversial subject, everybody's like up in arms. Everybody's jumping in there. But don't feel a lot of people, if you do this, I'm telling you, okay? If you do this, a lot of people's not gonna understand you. A lot of people are not gonna understand what you're doing, why you're doing it. You know, they come up with, oh, you only live once and this and that and it's all this stupid nonsense. It's, it's dumb. You know, or this is the, here's the main one, okay? And I hate hearing this, all right? And I don't want you to be, uh, be taken by this, okay? This is, it's a lie. It's a, it's a, it's a false. It's a, it's a, when people always say, hey, most people that don't, you don't hear yourself, Okay. <laughs> Hey, I need to give me a house because I'm tired of giving my money away on rent. My house payment is the same as rent. That's not true. That is not true. Every house, you just because you can get a mortgage doesn't mean it doesn't make it an instant asset. Okay, I want you to understand that. That's not true. Just because you're you have a house, that's not true. You have a mortgage. That is not your house. Okay? The only person that is a homeowner. The only person that's a homeowner is the person that has the title in their hand. They are the only homeowners. You cannot, just because you can pull equity out of it, you're borrowing the money from the bank. It's their house. If they hold the title, it's their house. The rent, the, the myth of the rent is same as the as the mortgage, that's, that's not true because you have no idea how this person, first of all, how this person financed the house. You, you have no idea. You don't know if they got a, a conventional loan, FHA loan, how much they put down, what's their percentage rate. You have no idea. And I'll tell you one thing, all right? Let me tell you one thing.
if I was a bank, this is my this would be my ideal client. Okay, this would be my ideal client, a person with good credit and a student loan they've been hanging on for ten to twenty or thirty years. They would be my ideal client and a good job. You know why? Because I figure like this. This is what I figure. It makes total sense to me. It makes total sense to me. If they cannot pay off a fifty thousand dollar student loan within the 10 or 20 years, do you really believe they're going to pay off a $350,000 house? No, they're not. They're not. They're not going to pay off a house. If they won't pay off 30000 let's go even lower, a $30,000 student loan, you think they're going to pay off a, a $350,000 house? No, they're not. That's a win-win for me. If that was the Bank of Linnell, I'd be winning. I guarantee, that's a guaranteed ROI. ROI is return on investment. You're not paying off your house. I know this. $30,000, $350,000. Especially if you jump into that house and you ain't even got 20% to put down on the house. Now, let me explain to you, okay, what 20% is. So if you bought a $300,000, if you decided to finance a $300,000 house, you would have to come up with $60,000 cash to put down on that house to avoid PMI, okay? Now, if you come to my bank, the Bank of Linnell, and you got a great job, great credit score, and a, a, and a, a student loan you've been hanging on to for 10 or 20, 30 years, I will give you that loan in five seconds because I know you're never going to pay off that house. You're not because you only pay off $30,000. You're not going to pay off that house. You're not. I would say, Ch -ch -ch approved, because I would get my money, I would get interest, and then by the time of any hiccup in your life happens, the house is still mine. If you lose your job, you get hurt, you get sick, whatever, so, oh man, I can't make the payments, foreclosure, it's mine, and then I'll resell it to the same, same type of person. There's 85% of people out there that do the exact same repetitive action. Hey, let me get a house. You got any money? No, but the, the mortgage is the same for the rent. I'll be like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, come on in. What type of loan you got? How much you got to put down? Oh man, I, got, I barely got like $5,000 to put down. You got a student loan? Sure do. Approved. I would find some financing for you. I would. I'd find it. Because the person, they want that house. A house is a thing. It's a thing. They want that thing that bad that they're willing to just sign their life away for this thing that they're never going to pay off. But they refuse to see that they're never going to pay it off. But it's so clear to me today as a debt-free man that it's, it's obvious. You know, and I've talked to a few people about, hey man, you ever going to pay that student loan? Oh man, I ain't going to do that. I ain't. And I, just, I look at them and say, that's the one debt in your life, besides uh, IRS taxes, that's the one debt in your life that's never going to go away. It's, it, it's never going to go away until you pay it off. You really, would, you really would accept to have a debt in your life for the rest of your life? That, that's insane to me. That's slavery. You, you're, you'll be a slave. You cannot stop working ever until you pay that off. And the other one is uh, people that uh, continue to go to school because while they're in school, they don't have to pay the money back. You have no idea how that sounds to me. That sounds like I don't care if I'm in debt until I'm dead. That's what, th that's what that says because you cannot get out of it. You, you can't. And then they got these programs, hey, if you work for this low wage over here for 10 years, we'll forgive your debt. 10 years of your money earning potential that you could just take it to the top to where unlimited cap of money, you're going to settle for this job because you don't want to pay off this debt you have in student loan debt. That's insane to me. That's insane. That's insane. You... You don't also realize how uh, how you let your job take advantage of you. you. 
there's so many things that you allow in your life because, uh, because you have this debt. You, you let your job treat you any way they want, make you skip your lunches, make you uh, call you at home anytime they want and, and uh, expect you to just get up, get up out, of your, out of your time, your time. Stop whatever it is you're doing. I don't care if it's your kid's birthday, if you're training them to ride a bike, Christmas, whatever. The job I had, they expected that. And I remember waking up when I would get called in the middle of the night. And I would wake up. Something in the back of my mind would always be like, something's not right about this. But I, you, I just couldn't put my finger on it. I couldn't put my finger on it. I just didn't know what it was, right? I would get caught, you know, on call rotation, right? Even when I wasn't on call, I would get called and I would think to myself, what is the purpose of on call if they can still call me anytime they want? I don't, I don't get it. There is no way in the world that one person that's on call can know about every system in the company. That's impossible. It didn't dawn on me to, to think like that. Wait a minute. But I do remember this one guy, he got hired. And uh, he was getting called like that. That dude left. He was like, he stayed about a few, about six months, almost a year. And then he got kept getting called. He left. I called him later. I said, hey, man, how you like your new job? He's like, man, I love it, man. I don't get calls after, after hours and all this not stupid nonsense. And even then, it kind of clicked, but it really didn't dawn on me. It didn't like, whoa, you know, the light came down or anything, right? When you, you, you skip lunch, you're giving away, you're giving away the time in your life for free. You can't even buy no more time and you give it away for free because your boss said so that you can't do that. You, you, uh, you skip over an important event in your life because you got a call. You, you can't do that. You can't allow that. You can't allow no job to ever, ever do that for money. They're buying their time in your life. You can't just give it away. You cannot give it away. You cannot, like, say like, uh, say like you planned, you planned an event for your child, okay? And this is months out. And then you get a call on that day that you planned and then all of a sudden you say, hey, sorry, baby, honey, whatever your kid's name is, and say, I'll make it up to you. You're lying to your child. You know why? Because that moment is gone forever. It's gone. You can never make that moment up again. It's gone. So you can never make that moment up for what? For an event that you... If you have to make plans, if you have to schedule a time off from your job, they have to schedule time to call you. You can't, hey, man, what are you doing? You say, hey, no, I'm busy. Click. I'll take care of them on Monday. Oh, no, man, this is an emergency. I'm sorry. Bye. It's nothing personal. What are they going to do, fire you? Look to see what that was going to be on that piece of paper. Hey, I called, I called Mr. Young up on his day off, and he wouldn't work for it. I would love to see the manager that signs his signature on that piece of paper. I would love it. I would take that piece of paper and go straight to a lawyer. I, that's what I would do. I, that's what I would do. People think, oh, L, you crazy. No, I'm not. You're crazy for letting them steal your time. Don't do that. You have no idea how much you're just letting pass by. I didn't realize that until I've been out two years, right? I've been out here for two years. I had, I had no idea what I was letting pass by me every single day. For free. I was just giving it away. Oh, I'll get some more. Like, I, like I'm going to get some more time from somewhere. Like I'm going to borrow something from my friend or something. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. Don't ever do that. You got to love yourself more. You have, you have to love yourself more. There's more people out here in debt that will steer you wrong. The task I'm at right now, this is a very difficult task, but I only do things that are difficult. I only do that because I get off on it because it's hard. Nobody wants to go that route. Hey, Linnell, you're wrong. You're crazy. No, you're crazy. I'm right. I know I'm right because I'm doing it. 
I see people finance cars, you know, on a, on Facebook. They'd be like, "Hey, look what I look look what I got myself. You got yourself in some more debt, and you're happy about that." But they don't know that. Everybody's saying congratulations. Hey, good for you. Blah 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 blah. blah. It's like, no, that's not good. You got payments for the next five years minimum. That's insane, man. That's that, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. I just keep my mouth shut. I don't get in people. I don't, I don't judge nobody. Whatever. They just don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know for 40 years. But anyway, um, this has been, for those of you wondering um, how it's been for me, oh, it's, it's, I'm, I've been out here for two years, so I'm, I, you know, I'm doing good. Am I making as much as I did for working? No. But my time is mine. That's the difference. That's the difference. My time is mine. I don't, I don't have to answer to anybody. I get up when I want to get up. I do what I want to do. And I, do, I help people that want to be helped. I have people bold enough to come out to me and say, L, will you help me? I say, yes, I will help you. But it's a very difficult uh, slope. It really is. But I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'll go broke before I go back to work a regular job. I will, I'll go broke. I'll be down to my last penny and then I'll be forced to get a job before I stop. Because I'm not stopping. There's more people out there that need help that don't even know they need help. So I'm gonna bring things to light that they just can't see. I'm gonna make, I, I'm gonna say things that people just can't see that what they say. You know, when, when people say out loud, things, people say these things out loud, they say, Hey, man, I got all these bill collectors after me. Don't say that out loud. You don't tell nobody that. Because you know what you're saying? I'm in debt and I'm running. Oh, man, you know, student loans are forever loan. No, it's not. Only for people that believe that. Not everybody believes that. Not everybody has student loans, okay? Not everybody. It's in the, tr just want you to say, student, loan is, student loans are in the trillions do you think those people are doing it right? They're not doing it right. Any investment, any financial advisor that tells you to invest before you pay off your student loan, leave them alone. They are lying to you. That is not true. That is one debt that you can't get rid of until you pay it off. You cannot bankrupt it. And I will confront any financial advisor that tells just try to tell you otherwise. That is bull crap. Don't ever believe that. All right, you guys have a good one. I'm going to the gym.